First tonight, the health of your local water supply. After more than 40 days, people in Jackson, Mississippi finally have safe, reliable drinking water. After heavy flooding shut down the supply of safe water, we wanted to know if a crisis like that could happen here in central Illinois. Our shop number Nash takes a closer look. Yes, yeah, Shelby, luckily not anytime soon. Illinois passed landmark legislation last year requiring the full replacement of all drinking water lead pipes. The Lead Service Line Replacement and Notification Act went into effect on January 1st. We want to make sure that we remove lead lines from service in communities. Illinois has the unenviable status as the state with the most lead water pipes in the country, nearly 700,000. Now the state is leading the way to replace those pipes. State Senator Dave Kaler co-sponsored the Lead Service Line Replacement and Notification Act, which went into effect on January 1st. The bill was passed in light of what happened in Flint, Michigan. Illinois American Water controls all drinking water in Peoria. The company is investing $5 million to upgrade 16,000 feet of water main in the city. Ayanna Simba with the Illinois Environmental Council sits on the advisory board created by the Lead Replacement Act. She says it's good to be proactive as they develop a long-term plan. It's great. Um, I think it speaks to the need not only in Peoria, but across the state for us to invest more in our water infrastructure systems. More than 10,000 water lines in Peoria, or 17%, contain lead. Kaler says that those pipes are in older parts of the city, such as the East Bluff, where he lives. The lead line that was from the, the, the main line to my water meter burst and it was lead, and so they had to dig up the whole street and replace it all. But the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act allocated $565 million over five years to replace lead service lines in Illinois. But Simba says the need is in the billions. And we're trying to figure out what are the best recommendations for how we raise funding. Kaler says homeowners won't owe a dime. The homeowners should not uh, you know, be responsible for this. Uh, they, they didn't put the lead lines in. Now, I compared Illinois American Water's water quality reports from 2019, 2020, and 2021. Now, the 2021 report indicates four out of 50 homes in Peoria have lead requiring action. That's up from one in 50 in the 29 and 2020 reports. But Simba says that could be due to water main replacement, which can cause lead to be discharged from pipes. Shelby.